Do you think there's other universes besides our own? The, the sort of well-defined theories which make assumptions about the physics at the relevant time. And this time, incidentally, is 10 to the power minus 36 seconds <laughs> um, or yeah. earlier than that. So yeah. this tiny sliver of time. And um, there are some theories, a uh, famous one due to Andre Linde, um, the Russian cosmologist now at Stanford, called eternal inflation, um, which did predict um, an eternal production of new Big Bangs, as it were. And uh, uh, that's based on specific assumptions about the physics. But those assumptions, of course, are just hypotheses which aren't vindicated. But there are other theories which only predict one Big Bang. So I think uh, we should be open-minded and not dogmatic about these these options until we do understand the relevant physics. But uh, there are th these d different scenarios of very different ideas about, about this. But I think all of them have the feature that physical reality is a lot more extensive than what we can see through our telescope. I think even the most conservative astronomers would say that because uh, uh, we can see out with our telescopes to a sort of horizon, which is about... Uh, depending on how you measure it, it's about maybe 15 billion light years away or something like that. But that horizon of our observations is no more physical reality than the horizon around you if you're in the ocean mm -hmm. um, and look at looking out at, at, at your horizon. There's no reason to think that the ocean ends just beyond your horizon. Mm -hmm. And likewise, there's no reason to think that the aftermath of our Big Bang um, ends just at the boundary of what we can see. Indeed, there are quite strong arguments um, that it probably goes on about 100 times further. And it may even go on so much further that uh, all combinatorials are replicated and uh, there's another set of people like us sitting in a, in a room like this. Every uh, possible combination of... Yeah, that, that could oh, happen. Boy. Uh, well, that's not logically impossible, um, but, uh, but I think many people would accept that it does go on um, and uh, contain... Um, probably a million times as much stuff as what we can see within the horizon. The reason for that, incidentally, is that if we look as far as we can in one direction and in the opposite direction, then the conditions don't differ by more than one part in 100,000. So that means that if we're part of some finite structure, the gradient across the part we can see is very small. Yeah. And so that suggests that it probably does go on a lot further. And uh, the best estimates say it must go on at least 20 times further. Is that exciting or terrifying to you? Just the spans of it all, the wide, everything that lies beyond the horizon. It, that, that example doesn't even hold for Earth, so it goes way, way farther. And on top of that, just to take your metaphor further with the on the ocean, yeah. while we're on top of this ocean, not only can we not see beyond the horizon, we also don't know much about the depth of the ocean. That's right. Mm -hmm nor the actual mechanism of observation that's in our head. Yes. <laughs> no, I think the Rogers and Halsey is all those points you make. Yes, yes. But, uh, but I think um, uh, even, even the solar system is pretty vast by human standards. And so uh, I don't think the perception of this utterly vast cosmos um, need have any deeper impact on us than just realizing that we are very small on the scale of the external world. Yeah, it's humbling though. It's it's humbling in, in uh, depending where your ego is, it's humbling. In well, a, if, if you start up very unhumble indeed, it may make a difference, but for most of us, I don't think it makes much, di much difference. And uh, uh, well, there's a more general question, of course, about uh, um, whether um, the human race as such is something which is uh, uh, very special or if, on the other hand, um, it's just one of many such species elsewhere in the universe, or indeed existing at different times in our universe.